It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Tuesday, the 9th of February. I'm James Spann. Cold, windy weather today. Snow flurries, snow showers. We'll focus on any possible impact from that. And another cold shot coming in here this weekend. So here we go. Over the eastern U.S., a deep, cold upper trough. Pulling down that cold air. We are in the 30s as the day begins. We will likely stay in the 30s all day today. Some spots maybe south of Birmingham could see low 40s, but... Uh, you factor in the wind, and the wind chill index will hover around freezing much of the day. But obviously, with numbers like that, we have no travel issues down in our part of the state. But it is freezing basically from U.S. 278 north around the nation. Very cold air for the upper Midwest down into the Great Lakes. You can see that uh, feed coming in here nicely. Now, as of this morning, we still have two counties in extreme northeast Alabama under a winter weather advisory. Jackson and DeKalb, that would include Scottsboro, Fort Payne, Mentone, Valleyhead, Collinsville. And uh, again, we'll monitor radar trends during the day today. But if we have any issues, that's the most likely place. And those winter weather advisories extend northeast up into uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, much of West Virginia and a few pockets where winter storm warnings are in effect, whether you see the counties there in pink. But generally speaking, it's going to be pretty dry for the next five days. This is valid through Sunday morning, and you see the little green. That's basically the snow flurries we have today. Beyond that, things look dry through the weekend. And this is the snow projection coming from the National Digital Forecast Database, the NDFD, and again, you can see the shades of gray through North Alabama, North Georgia. That's very light accumulation. The bigger numbers, of course, are northeast of here. All right, model fans, this is the 06C GFS at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. Big trough in the east, big ridge in the west. Windy, cold, and clouds around today for a decent part of the day. The sun probably will break out at times. Most places stay in the 30s, and again, the chance of snow flurries and snow showers. Now, this is the high-res HER model today at noon, and it's suggesting the snow showers, and it really doesn't have the resolution to show snow flurries, but the snow showers where you could see, you know, the ground turning white in spots, mainly up in the Tennessee Valley of extreme North Alabama. Doesn't show really much in the way of snow showers down this way, and that's probably right. The air is very, very dry. So again, the deal is the better chance of getting some, uh, uh, you know, snow on the ground up there in the high terrain of northeast Alabama. For most of you, little to no accumulation. It will be a curiosity more than anything else and basically no impact for most of you. But again, up there in that northeastern part of the state, we'll have to watch for maybe a few slick spots, but just a few. I think most folks will go on about their business today. Tomorrow be pretty cold in the morning. We'll start the day down in the low 20s. The high tomorrow will be in the low 40s. Still pretty cold, but the sky will be sunny, so at least the sun will be out. Thursday, we start the day in the 20s, and we should rise up into the 50s on Thursday afternoon. Now, Friday, another cold front passes through, and this, you know, we, we've seen some runs that try and bring a few sprinkles in here Friday morning. I think the chance is so small we can take that out. I guess there could be somewhere, mainly over South Alabama, but it's obviously a setup where I don't think many people, if anybody, sees rain to measure. And we should reach the low 50s, and then Saturday, here comes the next surge of cold air. That is a monstrosity of a 1048 millibar high over Minnesota. Saturday will be sunny but windy and cold with a high in the low 40s. And Sunday will be cold. Sunday morning, uh, the GFS is showing 21. So colder pockets might visit the upper teens. And then the high Sunday will be in the 40s and the sky will be sunny. Anomalies for Sunday, Valentine's Day. The really cold air kind of hugs the East Coast and especially up in the Northeast. Very cold for them. Now, Monday, and I know, every, you know, all these boneheads post these you know, deterministic model runs. That, that they'll find one that shows a snowstorm, and they'll post that, and they'll scream like it and share it, and everybody shares it, and everybody gets excited. This is where we are now. This is off the GFS, and this is depicting a nice wave coming through with a chance of rain on Monday. And I guess it is conceivable that early in the day Monday, if it starts early enough, there might be a little window for some 
icing issues, but I'd say it's a very small window. The better chance of snow, obviously, with this is to the north. And this is the European on Monday. And it, it was the, it's been the one that's been more bullish on a snow event here Monday morning. But even here, uh, this is suggesting it's going to be mostly a rain event. And we're going to lean that way in the forecast. Um, this is six days away, and this could change easily. We'll keep a close eye on it, but again, for now, both models are suggesting mostly a rain event on Monday, and this is a week from today, Tuesday the 16th, that trough is moving on to the east, and we are dry, and this should begin the beginning of a pretty nice warm-up. We get up in the 50s on Tuesday, and uh, this is the end of the forecast, Thursday the 18th, and the heights are coming up, and that should represent a pretty decent warm-up. Uh, we just might be in the 60s by then. Here's the deal. The Arctic Oscillation going positive. The NAO going positive in about 10 to 15 days. And again, you can see the numbers. We got the cold spike today with a high of 38. We dropped to 22 tomorrow morning. You can see the next cold spike over the weekend with highs in the 40s. It's got 23 Sunday morning. But after that, we warm up nicely. And you can see, look at those mid-60s showing up in about uh, 10 to 15 days. That verifies, that'll feel pretty good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.